practice this week, just what have you seen from the defense as you guys get ready and, and gearing up for Saturday? Um, I think uh, we we put a big emphasis on uh, you know just attacking the ball and being very aggressive during camp, and I think it's just kind of carried over into this week, and it's just a big emphasis, and I think it's just something that we're getting better at day by day. Well, Pat, it was a, you know, two years ago you were getting ready to go to you know the defense to play your first game uh, against Oregon. You got some freshman teammates kind of going through the same thing you did two years ago. Kind of what's been your advice to them, but. Have, do they seem like they're ready for the moment? And kind of what you've been telling them leading up Saturday? Yeah, um, it's, it's crazy because like, you never really know if you're ready until, until you're in the moment. Uh, you know, you put in the preparation and um, you have trust and faith and the work that you put in to prepare you for the moment. But, uh, you know, everybody everybody seems to be doing good. And, you know, I've just been telling the same thing people were telling me. You know, just take it day by day, play by play. Uh, you know, see a little, don't see too much. And, you know, enjoy it. You know, it's um, you only get one shot. and. Just enjoy it while you got it. Just be calm. And, you know, you're not out there by yourself. You know, you got you got plenty of other guys with you. So, you know, I don't know how. When you do think back to that Oregon game, you know, obviously that was your first ever career college game and you ended up making a big play in that game. But just what were some of the thoughts running through your head that morning when you think back to it? Um, <laughs> really, I was just, I just wanted to get in. Uh, that, that that was really about it. I just wanted to go out there and play. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't want to let down the team, you know, when I had the chance to get in. But uh, just trying to enjoy it, you know, I talked to my mom that morning and she told me, you know, you only get one chance to be a freshman, so enjoy it while you got it. And, you know, I remember waking up that morning and sitting at the table with Chris and, and Dan and everybody, and, you know, eating. Um, and just kind of really just being in the moment, uh, not letting, being where my feet are, not getting too far ahead of myself. And, um, you know, it's kind of the same message that I've been relaying to them. Yeah, what have you seen out of KJ Bolden really in the past month, especially as we lead up to his first game here? Um, he's definitely grown since he's been here. I, I said that for like for all the freshmen, you know, uh, they 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 definitely taken a step in their game, and you know this this class is very talented with a bunch of talented guys. So just um, just to see him, he's like a sponge, you know, he just wants to learn, grow, uh, just to see the strides that he's taking, and um, you know everybody else in his class as well. I mean, it's just amazing. To watch. Okay, you guys are breaking in some new starters in the secondary. Just how confident are you in this entire secondary and what you guys are capable of? Um, I'm very confident. You know, uh, like, like I said earlier, you know, you, you put in the work and the preparation to prepare you uh, for the moment. And, you know, that, that's what you got to fall back on. We like to say bleed and train it so you don't bleed in battle. You know, you know we, uh, we work through the ups and downs and stuff like that. But uh, I feel very confident. Out there, folks at uh, Jefferson rooting for you in Georgia or Sam in Clemson, <laughs> and uh, have you been in touch with the monsters? Um, I think it's I think it's both. Um, I, th I think you got a few both sides. They uh, both want us to do very well, um, and, and yeah, uh, I talked to him about two weeks ago. Um, you know, I'm in a close relationship with his dad, um, so a uh, great family, great kid. I'm excited to see what he's going to do um, and what he's going to put on. So I'm, I'm very excited for him. Malachi, when we talked to Carson yesterday, he talked about the defense and going up against you guys mm -hmm. and, and said he felt like you guys on defense could be really special this year. Mm -hmm. Do you see that yourself for what you've gotten to see through this off season and getting ready for another year? Yeah, um, I mean, I really do. Like I said, we got a bunch of talent, uh, you know, a bunch of guys who, who want to be here, who want to buy into the process, who want to do the right thing. So just, um, you know, when you have a group like, when you have a group of guys like that, I mean, I think the sky's the limit. And I'm, I, I think we know that. We just got to keep our head down and keep working. Malachi, what kind of difference have you noticed with the in-helmet communications for defensive communication? And are you one of the guys with the coaches in your year? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think it's huge. Um, I didn't even know it was a thing like, until I was in practice one day and I just kind of heard it, uh, kind of threw me off. But, uh, um, I mean, I, like I said, I think it's huge. And I, I've had it a couple of days. We kind of rotate to see what's going to happen or whatever. But, um, you know, it's, it's been a huge help um, just having that, that ear in your voice and, you know, just trying to figure out, you know, do I say this? Do I say that? What's too much to talk about? Like, when do I stop talking so you can go play or whatever? Like, how much do I need to listen to? Um, you know, so it's, it's been a it's been a process for sure. But um, I think I think it's a good thing for everybody, especially the offense. Anything else from Malika? Yeah, Malika, what have you seen from Jefferson? Yeah, I mean, I think it's been a great year. Uh, you know, I think it's been a great year.